material variety and wallets, you know, what they use to build it with, is something that leaves us impressed or scratching our heads. I've got something today from Hardgraft out of the United Kingdom that requires you to watch the entire review, then come to your conclusion. What's coming next is I'm hanging up. Oh no you won't. You're going to learn to obey me. Hardgraft original bifold wallet, hold on to the good. All right, let's see what we can find in here. This is a very soft and thick cotton bag. We get into this right here, we can see what we're looking at. What is all that on the inside, you say, Mark? Well, hmm, interesting. I told you this would be interesting, different materials. We look at kind of the sewing that goes on here. It's kind of standard sewing. This is an interesting pattern. Okie dokie. Hard graft means hard work in informal British English, if you were wondering. The sewing and stamp pattern right here is decorative only. If I show you in the interior, you can see that it, uh, it does not attach to anything. It is just for decorative purposes, as is this little red and white ribbon here at the bottom. So, with nothing on the exterior, we move to the interior. Four interior card slots. We have one, two, three, and four in this leather piece here and capacity up to eight cards, uh, really. And you can get two into this back slot up here, especially, so really six is comfortable. Then we open this up and it's an interior billfold pocket. It does fit all currencies, we'll see that in the test. So it is tall enough to do that. And I know we're gonna get to talk about the materials very soon. This wallet measures 4.1 by 3.5 by 0.5 and weighs 64 grams or 2.3 ounces. Hmm. Now, the leather on the exterior and interior do smell good. I know you see what we're talking about. Hold on to your thoughts until we get more towards the end of the review. Company makes no recommendation on cards, but you know I put eight in here and it works just fine. The leather uh, is uh, very supple on this, very easy to the touch. And you saw I got a number of pieces of cash in here, including the elusive euro, high you know 100 euro, and the yen. Those are always the tall currencies we struggle with, and they fit just fine. So no concerns there. This wallet is designed in the United Kingdom and it is made in Italy. How do I know? Well, it's right there, made in Italy. It uses a mix of full grain veg tan Italian leather on the exterior. And this is a felt. It's a felted wool, it's not felt, it's a felted wool, extra strong woven kind that is utilized for the interior. And then of course, right here, we have some additional uh, Italian leather right in here, which is, I mean, the combination is very intriguing. The sewing is good, uh, but I can't help but think that this wool would pull away from the leather over time. Uh, during utilization. Now if we look at the interior slots quickly, uh, just to give you an idea of how, how this leather operates, this leather does go all the way down to the bottom. There's no lining in here, it is all leather. It does fold over at the top and is then glued over. That's what gives you that nice clean edge. The wallet itself comes in at $149. And this wallet is indeed unique in the materials used and the design thinking. It's not something you would normally think about making a wallet with or out of. And with the leather being so supple and pliable, it will place demands on this wool, I really think, uh, but shouldn't damage the wool. It's interesting because um, you, you, if you have something in here, it becomes a buffer between the leather and the wool. You've got this leather here that is, so, is secured and then sewn onto the wool, and the cards aren't gonna provide any kind of stress there either. And when you close it, there's enough of a, of a buffer with the leather that again, it, it helps reduce a lot of the friction that you think you're gonna get on this, on this wool from the other materials in the particular wallet. Overall, a simple functioning wallet, but unique in construction. So is this something you would carry? Are you impressed, scratching your head, or just a meh? If you hang out in wallet talking groups, or you sit around and you go, look at what I have, this is certainly unique. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about this wallet. Now onto the final score. For quality of four, interesting materials, all high quality in what they utilize. Price of one. 
pretty expensive for what you see by way of materials and build. Features of three, very very common. Usability of three, not difficult. And perception of four. A lot of interesting design thinking that have gone into products by this company. Something you might want to take a look at. And that gives us a final score, 3.1 out of five. If you found this unique wallet interesting, then watch this one next. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.